welcome students to the first module of chapter number 6 angles in this module we will be learning angle and various components of an angle how to name read and write an angle we will also learn how to measure a given angle and how to draw an angle of given measurement let us know about an important geometrical figure that is an angle in geometry an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point as you can see here in the picture ray 1 and ray 2 are meeting at a common end point to form an angle now let us know about various components of an angle let us know about the very important component of an angle that is the vertex of the angle as i told you two rays join together to form an angle and this common end point is called as the vertex of the angle now look at this figure you can see ray oa and ray ob are meeting at a common end point o therefore point o is the vertex of this angle and ray oa and ray ob are the arms of this angle now let us learn how to name read and write an angle here you can see an angle in the picture ray ba and ray bc are the arms of this angle and point b is the common meeting end point that is the vertex of this angle now an angle is named by three letters the letter in the middle represents the vertex of the angle that means the name of this angle is angle a b c or it can be also named as angle c b a the symbol the symbol represents the word angle so we use this symbol to write the angle as angle a b c or angle c b a let us solve problem set 24 complete the following table now here is the table and in the table various angles are given and we have to write the names of the angle 
the vertex of the angle and the arms of that angle. So, the first angle is angle PQR or it can be also written as angle RQP. As you can see, Q is the common end point here. So, the vertex of this angle is Q. And QP and QR are the arms of this angle. Now, next angle is angle LMN or angle NML. The common end point is M. So, the vertex of this angle is M. And MN and ML are the arms of this angle. Next angle is angle S U T or it can be also named as angle T U S. U is the common end point. So here the vertex of this angle is U. And U S and U T are the arms of this angle. We have seen how to read and write an angle. Now, let us see how to measure an angle and also how to draw an angle according to a given measure. A protractor is used to measure an angle and also to draw an angle according to a given measure. The picture shows a protractor. As you can see, a protractor is a semicircular in shape. The semicircular edge of a protractor is divided into 180 equal parts. Each part is 1 degree. 1 degree is written as 1 and on the right top there is a 0. Angles are measured in degrees. Now, the divisions on a protractor that is the degrees can be marked in two ways. You can see there are two scales on the protractor. One is inner scale and one is outer scale. The divisions 0, 10, 20, 30, etc. up to 180 are marked anti-clockwise or from right to left and also the divisions 0, 10, 20, 30, etc. up to 180 are also marked in clockwise or serially from left to right. So these are two scales. One is inner and one is outer. Both are from 0 to 180 degrees. The center of the circle of which the protector is a half part is called the center of the protractor. And the diameter of that circle is the baseline or the line of reference of the protractor. Now, let us learn 
how to measure the given angle using a protractor first put the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle then place the baseline of the protractor exactly on the arm of the angle then start measuring the angle from the side of the vertex on which the arm of the angle lies here the arm is on the left side of the vertex therefore count the division starting from the zero on the left side that is here as the arm of the angle lies on the left of the protractor we use the outer scale and start measuring the zero scale from the zero on the left side of the protractor c then c which mark falls on the other arm here you can see read the number on that mark this number is the measurement of the given angle as you can see the arm lies on the mark here it is the fifth line after 110 we know the one line is one degree so after 110 there are five lines so we can say the measurement of the given angle is 115 degree Let us see one more example. Here is the given angle ABC. Let us measure this angle using a protractor. First, put the center of the protractor on the vertex that is on point B. Place the baseline of the protractor exactly on arm BC. Then the angle is measured starting from the zero on that side of the vertex on which the arm of the angle lies. Here the arm BC is on the right side of the vertex B. Therefore, Count the divisions starting from 0 on the right. That is, here we have to use the inner scale of the protractor. See which mark falls on arm BA. You can see the arm BA is on the fifth line after the number 30. We know that one line is one degree. So, the fifth line after 30 will be 35. So, the measurement of the given angle is 35 degree. Problem set 25. Measure the angles given below and write the measures in the given boxes. Here some angles and their measurements are given. Now let us learn how to draw an angle of the given measure. 
Here is an example. Draw angle X, Y, Z of measure 120 degree. As here, we know that in the name of the angle, the letter in the middle represents the vertex of the angle. So, here point Y is the vertex of angle XYZ and YZ and YX are its arms. Now, the very first step is to draw arm YZ with a ruler. As here, measurement of arms are not given, we can draw arm YZ of any measure. Now, the second step is since point Y is the vertex, we must draw a 120 degree angle at point Y. So, put the center of the protractor on point Y. Place the protractor so that the baseline lies on arm YZ as you can see here in the picture. Now, as the arm YZ lies on the right side of the vertex Y, we start counting the division from the right side of the vertex. So, here to count the division, we use the inner scale of the protractor. So, count the divisions starting from the zero and then mark a point with your pencil at the division that shows 120 degree. So, here I have marked point X at 120 degree. Now, once you marked the point at required measure that is here at 120 degree, the next and the last step is to lift the protractor and then draw a line from the vertex through the point marking the 120 degree angle that is point X. Then write the measurement of the angle as 120 degree. So here is our angle XYZ of a measure 120 degree.